Hey guys, it's Duncan, and today I've got a special review, a video review, on some different web browsers that are available in the App Store. Now, as most of you will know, uh, obviously you have Safari built into your iDevice, I whether it's iPhone or iPod Touch, but if you go in the App Store, there are definitely a lot. Uh, last, last time I checked, over a hundred different apps different web browsers that you can choose some of them are free most of them are paid and uh, basically what I'm doing is I picked four of the top ones at the moment and uh, I'm I test them out and I'm gonna see if any of them are good enough to replace Safari okay so in fourth place is what's called free browser now I will say immediately this one is this is one of the reasons why I stick with Safari um, there's, uh, it's free, which is just about the only reason I would want to get it. Um, there are ads, they're either on the bottom, if you've got it in landscape mode, uh, or, no, it's on portrait mode, they're on the bottom, and landscape mode, they're in between the Google and the website bar. Now, I do like that, but, I mean, it's, it's just, the ads are just so annoying, uh, I'll show you later. There's another web browser that actually does ads really nicely. Um, the interface on this, it's there's just no. There's a little button that you can hit that will make the everything disappear tr and try to get you full screen. But I will be reviewing another one that's full uh, that does full screen. It's much better. Um, there's where you can take down the search and everything. Um, there's website bar. Um, they're literally, uh, this is going to be like the shortest review ever, but this uh, this app is just not, there's just nothing to it. It's just a really cheap kind of browser, and I definitely recommend just stay away from it and stick to one of the, th the three I'm about to review. In third place is uh, a definitely a big step up. It's called private, Privately, <coughs> sorry, Privately Web Browser. Um, it's... It's if you're looking for a, a Safari replacement, this is definitely not it. Um, it looks and acts a lot like Safari, which I will say right now, Apple imposes restrictions on any web browser. They all have to be built off of Safari. So uh, I'll say this. I should have said this earlier. All of them, unless a couple of them have a few special features, like they don't load uh, pictures and stuff. But uh, ge generally, every browser will load the same speed. They have same uh, same everything. Like you won't have you won't find Flash or anything like that. Basically, they just all feature on just different like full screen and different things like that. Anyway, so privately, it's uh it's a definitely uh a, it, when you fire it up, it loads practically instantly, just as fast as Safari, if not maybe even a little faster. Um, it's got a really simple, a really minimalist interface that I actually like. Um, it looks just like Safari, literally. I mean, you have to. I mean, you look at it and you do like a couple double takes to make sure you're not looking at Safari. Um, there are ads on the very first screen when you fire it up, but it's no big deal. Um, Basically, just they're advertising the developers or advertising a couple of their other applications. There's a small ad mob on the bottom, but those go away as soon as you go to the next page, and that's that's not a big deal at all. Um, the bottom bar, my my main problem with this is the bottom bar, uh, where where normally Safari would have all your different options, all it has is the forward and the back button. This is a big waste of real screen real estate just because it takes up the same amount of space and it's just f that huge bar is only for two little buttons, which is just just doesn't work well for me at all. Um, uh, it takes up just tons of space and it just does and you can't go anywhere. A, a couple of the, most of the other browsers, at least you can make the stuff disappear. That stays there the whole time, which is a big downside. Um, it's a really basic browser. It doesn't uh, doesn't store any history or whatever, which is obviously what the name is. But uh, in in general, it's it is free. So if you want, you go check it out. Um, uh, it's it's real it's real minimalist. It's real basic, real sleek. Um, personally, there are better options in my opinion. But it, for free, it's not bad. So uh, you might want to go check it out. Now we're getting into some of the browsers that actually stand a chance of replacing Safari. And coming in second place is what's called full screen web browser. Now I will say this one is 99 cents, so that's a problem, you know. But uh, I actually bought this old several months back, and uh, I actually do use it pretty frequently. It's pretty cool. The main feature of it, as you might have guessed, 
is full screen. And when they say that, they mean it. This is the only one I've seen that actually does total full screen. Uh, there no, there's nothing left. It's just, I mean, the whole the whole screen is just totally devoted to your web page. Um, that's a really cool feature, I think. Um, basically, what you do is when you want to uh, hit back or ex or go to a different website, or whatever, all you have to do is just shake shake the device, and everything will uh, reappear, and uh, no big deal. That's it's not perfect, but that's that's just about the only way I could think of that it would work. Um, now it's not a full featured web browser like some like Safari. Uh, it doesn't have tabs, which is probably the single biggest downfall, I think. Um, but besides that, it's got just about everything else. It's got uh, bookmarks support where you can do all your bookmarks. Um, it's it's private web browsing like everything else. Uh, there's no option to turn on history, which I know sometimes you do want to see history to you know to flip back there. Oh, well, there's that website I went to. Um, but I mean that's not a big deal. Most most of these web browsers are because uh, that's some of the only things that Apple let them do. Um, then there's a uh, you can open there's a small options page where you can open uh, open the page that you're looking at in full screen you can open it in safari for whatever reason i'm not really i, I guess if you wanted to use both because i will say this full screen is set up where it's not meant to take over for safari it's meant to complement safari and, uh, and that's the way i use it too uh it's basically if you just want a bigger screen you want and it's i mean it's it's really cool because i mean there's no menu or anything you can pull out obviously you can pull up but i mean while you're while you're uh reading and everything it's pretty cool there's no google search bar but i mean that's not a big deal i mean if you need to if you need to go to google whatever it's no big deal to just go do it on your uh on safari um full screen web browser it's a good app i've uh it is not in a sense like i said I've I bought it a while ago and I'm not unhappy with it at all. It's pretty good. It like I said, it's not going to replace Safari, but it with the just the fact that it has real full screen, I'd say at least take a look at it because it's pretty cool. Okay, so the number one app, uh, the number one web browser that I, in my opinion, of the ones I've tried, is a Quarry Stealth browser. Now this is free. And I've got to say, it's it's pretty impressive. If any of these apps could replace Safari, this would probably be the one. Um, Quarry is uh, basically a real full-featured browser. It has tab support, uh, bookmarks, just literally ev just about everything that you would want in Safari. Um, now, it also has a really cool feature, I think, is that when you first open it up, it asks for passcode. Now, uh, sometimes, I mean, depending on you know what you want to do with the browser, that might not be a big deal. Um, I know it's not to me, um, but the the one good thing is you can't turn it off, but you can uh, whatever passcode you you know you set it. It's it, it can be different from your iPod, or iPhone, or not. Um, and you can also just for a guest just have them put one two three four in, and it'll clear all your history and everything so that they can't access it. I mean, if you if if that's if that's important to you, then you know. Um, it's nearly full screen. It's not quite as good as full screen, the full screen browser, as full screen browsing. <laughs> um, it, it does still leave the, uh, the very top bar, which is okay, I guess. Um, it really doesn't take up much. Um, basically what it is is that it does, okay, I will, I, I just real quickly, I will say it does have an ad. And that is whenever you open up a new tab, it'll automatically open a uh, an ad, and it does change every once in a while, but it's mostly the same. Um, I don't really find that that big of a deal. Um, it does kind of slow down. I noticed that instead of opening a just a blank tab, when you when it's loading a web page, it does take a couple of seconds to load. Um, but I would rather deal with that than have to pay a dollar for this. And I mean, I I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, you can clear your data, but the good thing is you can actually keep your keep too. You don't have to. Uh, you can keep history and everything. Um, it, like I said, it has the full tab support. It's got a nice, uh, nice search bar when you go to do it. You have web address, and you can Google something, and then you can also do it off of shopping.com. Uh, my only problem, really, with the Quarry, besides the ad, and that's not bad, is the fact that it, there's some glitches. It uh, sometimes won't open a tab right, and there's just a few different things that's just not that great. Um, so, Aquari's good, just, just not quite perfect. Okay, now, of course, the real question that I set out to answer is, can any of these actually replace Safari? In my opinion, no, they can't. Um, 
a quarry does come close. It, it has just about everything you would want and some nice extra features. But what I keep coming back to is the glitches. And that, that Safari really has gotten to the point where it does not have any glitches. Um, now, I do recommend go out, at least at least go pick up a quarry because it's a pretty it's pretty slick. Yeah. If, short of those glitches and the ad, and it does is some kind of slow, but short of that, those minor things, it could, if they could work that out, I would probably change from that to Safari. Be sure to check out Zedric.com for the latest app reviews and iPhone and iPod Touch news. Thanks for watching, guys.